St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil. For the Son of Man's sake, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sisters and items. Keep pushing, keep believing, most definitely keep the faith. Regardless of people here for people, you're, you're going to be hated for teaching this word. Look, look, by your own people, by your family members, by the world, by the people on your job, it's all spiritual. It's all spiritual. The Lord, the Lord said, look, when all these things start coming to pass, when people start calling out your name as evil, putting dirt on your name, slamming you, mocking you, just consider yourself blessed. Because look, they did the same thing to our Lord and Savior, man, right? St. Luke 6, 22. Blessed are ye. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Because you know the only thing that we're doing is teaching the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. We're, the only thing we're doing is teaching the truth according to the Bible. We do a week in and week out starting off with the head apostles and the elders of great millstone. The only thing we do is teach the truth. It's the in season, out of season. And the scriptures say when they start hating you, consider yourself blessed. Didn't Israel hate the prophets? Over 2,000 years ago, didn't Israel hate our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, over 2,000 years ago? We're, we're in great company, right? Blessed are you when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. Remember, Great Millstone is the worst camp ever known to Israel. We, 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 we're going to invite everybody else to our functions. But when, we're going we're gonna to abstain from GMS. The bomb camp, remember? We're bombs. We're false prophets. We're everything but Yasha Allah in the eyes of these non-believers, man. You know, in the eyes of these haters. Go ahead, go ahead. Let them separate themselves from you. Look, it's, it's a wonderful thing when these people start separating themselves from you. It's a wonderful thing. It's a blessed thing. And shall reproach you and cast such a name as evil. Or aren't they doing that? They call us pedophile. They call us rapists. They know we ain't rape no damn body. You know, bums, the bomb camp, right? The bomber lights, snow dummies, get a job. Look, all, all them, I mean, I, I can go on and go on, but the Lord said, when these things start happening, consider yourself blessed, right? And highly favored. This is a, for the son of man's sake, look, they really don't hate you. They hate the one that sent you. They hate Lord Yahweh Shai. And if they hate Lord Yahweh, then they hate the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh, man. All right? Rejoice in that day. When all these things start happening, when the whole world comes against you, when they want to lock you up and throw away the key for teaching this truth, the Lord said rejoice in that day. When family members start separating themselves from you. You know, you got women out there that's trying to the best of their abilities. Their family members are separating themselves from them. Casting out their name is evil for believing in the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Continue to do the work of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Yet they're going to hate. They're going to mock. They're going to scoff. But let them do what they got to do. And Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, most definitely going to do what they got to do, right? Your reward is great in heaven. We're storing up spiritual treasures, right? We're storing up treasures in heaven. We're not storing up nothing upon the earth, man. Yeah, Israelites actually trying to build communities right about now and all hell breaking loose. The Lord's about to bring fire to this place. Martial law is about to pop up. They're about to make it mandatory that you take Maxine. You, you, you're not going to do any traveling. Soon come. They're going to lock everything down. But oh yeah, let's build a community, right? And for us coming up again, that's the time and a place for everything. You know, there was a time to build, but 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 it ain't now. We we're just teaching this word right about now, edifying the elect. We building our people up with the words, the elect, right? It says your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did the fathers unto the prophets. So the false prophets, you know what I'm saying, always talked about the real prophets, right? 
The false prophets always cast the real prophet's name out as evil, right? Just, just remember that. Look, never forget that in the last days there shall come scoffers walking after their own lust, mocking the real prophets of the Lord. And you got to always remember this, Israel. There's always going to be more false prophets than real prophets. Just remember that, Israel. There's always going to be more false prophets than real prophets. Let's, let's, let's see. We're going to carry on. This is um, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 4. Wherein they think it strange that we run not with them to the same access of right. Speaking evil of you just because you don't want to be down with that nonsense. They're going to speak evil of you, right? They think it's strange. They look at us because we strange because we ain't having Israelite parties. You know, we're not having rap battles. You know, we're not debating on these de different debate shows. Only thing we're doing is teaching the truth according to the Bible. Look, and we do it week in, week out, instant, in season, out of season, right? I've got to read that again. First Peter chapter four, verse four. four. Wherein they think it strange that we run not with them to the same access of riot, speaking evil of you, man. So just want, well, want to go to their summits and all that other nonsense. They speak evil of us, man. So, so don't think it's strange when these things start happening to you. Cause in like manners, they did the same thing to the real problem, but, but you, but you already know it's a, it's a reward. It's a reward for being mocked. And it's a reward, it's a reward for mocking. See, Israel, Israel I keep forgetting about that. This is Second Chronicles. Chapter 36. Let's get that. Second Chronicles chapter 36 verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiah. Shall I remember? They made fun. They cast out your name as evil. It's a penalty for all that. But they mocked the messengers. Made fun. Little mock. Little mock. You keep teaching. Little mock. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiah. And despised men and hated. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Only thing we're doing is telling our people that the Lord is coming back. And destroy this place. We tell our people not to take Maxine. They look at us all strange. You know. Don't take the MOB. They look at us all strange. You know. Don't conform to the ways of this world. They, they think it's, we're all strange. So they mock us, right? They mock the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. You, you remember what happened when those um 40 children mocked um Alicia. Two she bears came out and destroyed every last one of them. So, so be very careful. Be very careful. And despise his words. And misuse his prophet. They want us locked up. They want us dead. Just for teaching the word. Just because we don't want to roll with them and their nonsense. Just because we ain't jet setting all over the earth. To these different countries. Promoting nonsense, right? M misleading the people, right? They misuse the prophets until the wrath. See, that's one thing that's coming. The wrath of the Lord. See, the men of the Lord are going to continue to teach. And you mockers are going to continue to mock. But then sooner or later, the wrath of the Lord is going to come upon you, right? Until the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, but Shemel Shai rose against his people. Till there was no remedy. So soon come, you, you're going to write a check that your ass can't cash. That, that's what's coming. You, you writing a check that your ass can't cash, man. Look, look, little do you know. Let's get this Isaiah. Little do you know, Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. And it reads, instruction. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. They call what these heathens do, they call that a good thing. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they call game banging a good thing. They call selling drugs a good thing. They worship drug dealers and game bangers, man. Anybody that's promoting wickedness, our people call it good. But when we out there on the highways and byways, starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know, you know they call that evil. Because we don't want to go to none of their functions, none of their gatherings. They call us evil. You know, we don't want. Once again, we don't want to get down with none of that Israelite party, which is which is all nonsense. You know, we we ain't conforming to none of your doctrines, so they call what we're doing evil. They're telling our people they need to go to the government and get married. 
got to have it in paper. They, the scriptures say sex is marriage, man. All right? They're telling our people once again to take Maxine. Look, they call evil good. You know? Doing it in the butt and all this nonsense. They, no, they call evil good, man. And good evil. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe, destruction unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So it's a blessing to be hated for righteousness sake. It's a blessing through the spirit you have by Shemiah Shah to be hated for righteousness sake. So when all these things happen, leap for joy. Consider yourself blessed. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to be in this knowledge. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. Let's get this though. This is Second Ezra. And, and the phone had to chime in. Second Ezra. It's beautiful. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life, in this generation. Remember, a whole lot of Israelites are going to perish in this generation. Why, Lord? Because they despise the law of Yahweh by Shem Shai that is set before them. So keep mocking. A whole lot of Israelites are going to die soon, come in. You despise his word, death is coming to you if you don't repent, right? Second Ezra 8, 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride, man. And you, you know pride go up before destruction in a haughty spirit before a fall. Look, pride will get you killed every time. Yes, it will. Pride will get you killed every time, man. Let's get this. Job chapter 8, verse 23. Matter of fact, start at 20. And I'm going to jump down. Job chapter 8, verse 20. Behold, which means to look, Yahweh by Shimei Shai will not cast away a perfect man. Neither will he help the evil doers. If you are there committing wicked, evil acts. Slandering, mocking, you know, casting out the men in the Lord's name as evil. That's evil, man. You, you're being an evil doer, man. Breaking down the scriptures wrong, lying to the people, giving them false hope. The Lord said he will not cast away a perfect man. Neither will he help the evil doer, man. Jump it down, 22. They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. So the Israelite groups, they hate great millstone. We're basically the only group that's hated. All these other groups come together and they love each other, even though they're teaching false doctrines and they ain't even teaching the same thing. Ain't nobody teaching the same thing, but they all come together to come up against the service of the Lord, right? What the Lord say? They that hate thee. Because remember, blessed are they that are hated for righteousness sake. They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. And the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught, man. So the Lord's going to put these Israelite groups and these heathens to shame, man. He will put two-thirds to shame in his service, man. Remember, the wrath of the Lord is going to come upon you. You mock. Remember, in the last days, that shall come scoffers. Walking after their own lesson. That was a bad scripture right there, man. All those that hate you shall be put to shame. In due time, look, it ain't going to take that long. It seems like it's taking a long time, but, but it really ain't. It really ain't. It's going to come like a thief in the night, too. Let's, let's see what else I want. Let's get this. Second, First Corinthians chapter 4. Let's see. Uh, 10. We are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake. We don't mind being called. We don't mind being mocked at. Ridiculed. Our name being cast out as evil. We, we don't mind that because it's all for the Lord, right? We are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh Shah. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. Is, is, that, is that not a fact or what? Is, is that not true? Yes, that's true. Why? Because this is not our rest, right? But we still push this word. And labor. 
working with our hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat it. Aren't all these things happening to us? Being defamed, we entreat it. We are made as the filth of the world. That's, that's what they say. They say great millstone is the worst Israelite camp known to mankind, right? We're considered, we're counted as the fifth of the earth and, and are the offscoring of all things until this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. Look, that these things are going to happen. But at the same time, blessed are ye when these things start happening, man. Because these people are all that nonsense they're saying. Do you not know they have to give account thereof in the day of judgment? Breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Tell us, uh, John 3.16 is the MOB, is the mark of the beast, and all this other nonsense. Tell it's philosophy, the sleeping with a white woman. Come on, man. Tell on, it's June, ain't no microchip, and all that other nonsense. Remember, they call us rapists, they call us pedophiles, they call us every name up under the sun, except for Yasha Allah, right? St. Matthew 12, 36, but I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And the scriptures command us to rebuke, to correct. Exhort with all long suffering, instant, in season, out of season, with this word, and they hate us for doing that. That's why. That's why the scripture say, "Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth?" I want to get this Amos right quick. They look, they hate him. They rebuke you from the gate anyway. Anytime you come out teaching this word, they're gonna hate you, man. The false prophets are gonna hate you because you're teaching the truth, man. All right, and and they're promoting folly, right? Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gates. You are the correcting your people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. They gonna hate you. Just remember, Israel, they gonna hate you. They hate him that rebuketh in the gates, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So of course, no saying these people gonna get away from you. You speaking uprightly. You speaking according to the Bible, they don't, and they hate it, man. They can be walking around with a Bible the size of a Cadillac. That don't mean they read it and they understand it. Because as soon as you bring out the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible, they get the hell away from you. They abhor you. They cast out your name as evil. They hate you, man. And, and just remember that. They hate our Lord and Savior. Look, the service not greater than his Lord, man. All right? But the scriptures also tell you, follow not a multitude to do evil. Be followers of those that are of the household of faith, right? And keep teaching this truth, no matter if they keep hating you or not. Remember, strive for the truth unto death. Look, that's what the Lord is setting up. I close out on this. That's what the Lord is setting up. Men is teaching that truth. This is Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 21. Matter of fact, Exodus chapter 18. Exodus chapter 18, verse 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, Israelites, able men, such as fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh See, we fear the Lord. That's why you see us out that week in and week out. That's why you see us doing videos every, pretty much every day throughout the week to the best of our ability. Such as fear the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Remember, men of truth. If you're speaking the truth, you're going to be hated. Remember that. Men of truth. That's who the Lord is establishing. Remember, because a lying tongue is but for a moment. Hating covetousness and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. And that's what you see going on. So let them hate. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is still establishing the kingdom in front of everybody's eyes, regardless if they like it or not. So let them mock. Let them mock. You just keep teaching. Shalom.